another way if you are new to the channel I'm gold pony I do new car truck SUV reviews on YouTube and today we are in the new 2020 Audi Q8 courtesy of Sun Motorcars in Mechanicsburg PA for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below wanted to check this one out of course because this is an insanely good looking suv there are a few changes for 2020 as well so of course i will be going over them along with everything about this one so what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so as you can imagine there are a few different trim levels for the 2020 audi q8 first one being the premium starting at sixty eight thousand two hundred dollars then you have the premium plus for seventy two thousand two hundred and prestige for seventy seven thousand seven hundred but regardless of trim level that you go with power plant on this one will be the same powering this beast is going to be a three liter turbocharged v6 putting out 335 horsepower 369 pound-feet of torque sent to all four wheels through Audi's legendary quattro all-wheel drive system and that power is sent to the ground through an eight-speed automatic with paddle shifters producing a zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 5.6 seconds which we will test out in a little bit here top speed comes in at approximately 130 miles per hour mpg 17 in the city 22 on the highway and so before we do that acceleration test i did want to mention there are some driving modes that come standard on the q8 including comfort auto dynamic and individual and that drive mode select button is going to be located just in front of the engine start button essentially what those drive modes will do is adjust things like the shift points throttle response steering sensitivity and the air suspension if equipped and by the way that air suspension goes for two thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars in case anybody was interested there and so banal having mentioned all of that what do you guys say let's go ahead and find a straightaway let's do the paddle shifter and acceleration test all in one here and by the way you can have a full manual shift mode just slide the shifter all the way to the back and to the right essentially and that is going to show you what gear you're in up on the digital gauge display but essentially that does give you manual shift mode so what do you guys say let's go ahead and find that straight away and let's do a quick little acceleration with the paddle shifters and let's see how quickly they will react for us here all right found our straightaway in three two one go whoa dang freaking lightning quick absolutely love that paddle shifters are instantaneous acceleration let me tell you you can feel it in the pit of your stomach that was absolutely wonderful you will not be disappointed when it comes to acceleration in the audi q8 that was brilliant but so then to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important and so up front you will find 14.8 inch ventilated front disc in the back 13.8 inch ventilated rear disc with red brake calipers if you were to go with the black optic package it goes for fifteen hundred dollars of course gives you some black accents but overall as far as the braking feel goes it's perfectly fine certainly no issues with any brake pedal delay or anything like that of course touching on suspension and handling though independent front and rear suspension as expected on this one adaptive damping suspension also comes standard on the q8 that of course is pretty nice that gives you the best of both worlds essentially it monitors each shock absorber individually not only giving you a smoother ride so you can get the roads imperfections but when you're going around the turns a little faster it does tighten up that suspension giving you better handling at the same time so again best of both worlds there and back to that adaptive air suspension again that goes for two thousand seven hundred fifty dollars that includes all wheel steering as well so the rear wheels are going to steer a little bit as well there but that of course is going to further soften that ride essentially giving you the very best ride quality humanly possible but having said that even though we don't have that air ride suspension here today i can't tell you the ride quality is absolutely brilliant partly due because of the adaptive damping system so again that's definitely going to provide you with quite a smooth ride so i'm very impressed with that ride quality is brilliant as far as steering feel goes that's going to adjust again dependent upon the drive mode that you put it in but having said that it feels perfectly fine not quite as heavy as i would want it in that dynamic dynamic driving mode which is the sportiest driving mode of course but then again we are in a larger SUV so I guess it's pretty much as expected there as far as cabin noise goes that's perfectly fine as well definitely a very well insulated cabin climate control is on a little bit but other than that when it comes to cabin noise it's very lack thereof there's not a whole lot coming into the cabin and in addition to that I do want to also mention there is dual pane acoustic glass available that comes with the luxury package that luxury package goes for $6,150 so that is of course going 
to give you even less cabin noise as well. But last thing I wanted to mention though, when it comes to driving dynamics, touching on visibility, it's not as good as a Q7, but it's not bad. It's something you get used to because of the tapered roof line in the back of the Q8, because of its better looks, it's not as much visibility as a Q7, but again, it's something you would definitely get used to, I would imagine. So no issues personally for me there. Rain sensing windshield wipers do also come standard and there is a head up display coming with the prestige trim level if you went that route but that about rounds out the performance segment of this review you guys let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of this brand new 2020 audi q8 all right so here she is you guys the 2020 audi q8 finished in night black in case anybody was curious but let me go ahead and start with what's new on the 2020 audi q8 compared to the 2019 model at least black optic package is new for 2020 that goes for 1500 dollars that gives you unique 22 inch wheels with the dark finish red brake calipers as i previously mentioned and black accents essentially all the way around then you have the s line style package that goes for 750 dollars that gives you unique 21 inch wheel design illuminated door sills and s line badging as well but Having said that, that's essentially what's new when it comes to the exterior. Let's go ahead and start up front on the Q8 here. Full LED headlights is the standard setup here, so that's always nice. LED daytime running lights coming with that. Of course, those headlights do also come with the automatic feature, meaning when it starts to get dark out at night, they will turn on automatically for you there. Automatic high beams actually coming standard as well. That's usually something that's available as an option. HD matrix LED headlights also up front. Audi single frame front grille as expected with the quattro lettering found on the side of that front grille. You guys can see that. And also some front air curtains found in the lower corners of that front end as well. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the side of the Q8 here. And so starting up top aluminum optic roof rails come standard across the board for all trim levels. Aluminum optic window surrounds coming standard as well and by the way since we're on the windows let me mention to you guys when it comes to the q8 a lot of times with suvs they do have a frame to them but when you open the door there they are actually frameless windows kind of a coupe like design so i like that it's pretty cool anyways rear privacy glass coming standard as well taking a look at the side mirrors they are power adjustable power folding heated side mirrors with memory settings and led integrated turn signals can't really ask for much more than that when it comes to side mirrors at least taking a look down at the wheel setup 20 inch five arm design alloy wheels coming with the premium 21 inch alloys with the premium plus and prestige trim level and then one more thing on the side i always like to mention with suvs body colored side skirts coming standard as well a lot of suvs make Make them like a matte black finish which definitely doesn't look anywhere near as high end as a body color finish does so i did want to mention that the q8 does come with body colored side skirts so then making our way to the back of the q8 rear spoiler with an integrated brake light comes standard just below that rear window wiper led taillights with dynamic turd signals coming standard as well let me show that to you guys essentially when you put on the turd signal the leds and the taillight look like they're sliding from one side to the other it's a pretty darn cool effect and lastly just below it all i did want to mention there are dual exhaust outlets but they might not be where you think they are they're not incorporated into that rear bumper as Audi would have you believe they're actually tucked away underneath but nonetheless I think you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip So but now since we are around back of Q8, when it comes to opening that rear lift gate, it is a hands-free power lift gate for all trim levels across the board. So there is a button on the key fob itself. That's one way to open it. Again, it's hands-free. And there's also a button on the lift gate. So there are actually three different ways to go ahead and open that rear lift gate. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 30.5 cubic feet behind that second row. If you want a little more space, there is a 40-20-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down, bumping that up to 60.7 cubic feet with that second row folded down. Also in the cargo area, you can find LED cargo lighting. A lot of times you find typically the halogen bulbs back there, so it's pretty cool that LEDs are back there. Cargo area cover also comes standard back there. There is no in-floor storage, but in lieu of that in-floor storage, you can actually find a spare tire 
tire underneath of that cargo floor. Also, there's gonna be some netted storage back there, and there is a 12 volt power outlet and a couple grocery hooks as well. But then making our way to the rear legroom, that comes in at 40.2 inches. So for reference, I mean even six feet tall. This is how much space I had back there. And really, once you hit 40 inches, it is luxury like rear legroom. So plenty of space back there for me. Rear center armrest with cup holders also coming standard along with rear ventilation. Did want to mention there is a cold weather package that goes for $600 that gives you heated rear seats as well if you wanted those. Prestige trim level is actually going to give you rear window sunshades as well. There is also a 12 volt power outlet back there, two USB charging ports, and overall those rear seats are kind of like bucket seats as well which is kind of more than I expected so they were plenty comfortable I will say that. Now let's go ahead and make our way to the front seats. A-way power adjustable front seats with four-way power lumbar does come standard so both driver and passenger. Memory settings for up to two different drivers also come standard. They will come with a leather finish of course and they will be heated as well. Premium plus trim level though adds to that giving you 12-way power adjustable front seats with a perforated leather finish and ventilated front seats come with the premium plus as well and actually that luxury package that i mentioned earlier to you guys you actually get massaging seats with that as well so i did want to mention that and again front seats are perfectly comfortable so no issues there taking a look at the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping it is leather wrapped and power adjustable that's pretty cool heated again with the cold weather package it's optional if you wanted it but essentially all of your buttons are located on one side of the key you got your audi rings at the bottom lock unlock that button to pop the rear hatch that's the times two button in the middle there but essentially it is all keyless entry so simply just leave the key in your pocket there is a push button start located just in front of the shifter so all i'm going to do is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button there and so but then upon startup all trim levels across the board get the legendary audi virtual cockpit so i know that's always a question everybody asks whenever i do an audi review so all trim levels get that in the q8 so that's wonderful 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster is what that actually is there is a view button on the left side of the steering wheel that completely changes the look you can press that you can make the gauges bigger or smaller and then of course what is in the middle there you can completely adjust that as well whether it be radio information how many miles you have left until you hit empty or my personal favorite the 3d navigation setup which is essentially a google earth view it's not just a map view it's a real live view so i can see sun motor cars within that gauge setup right now as opposed to just a cartoon version of it it is the real thing along with a ton of farmland in mechanicsburg pa here so that is pretty darn cool so i absolutely love that and again you'll be able to view your driving modes up there what gear you're in if you're shifting manually and there's really a ton of different things you can completely customize that look of the gauges so love that touching on overall interior quality a panoramic sunroof comes standard across the board alcantara headliner comes with the luxury package there is a frameless rear view mirror that comes standard with a little compass in the upper right hand corner that's pretty cool too Home link controls come standard for up to three different garage doors. Ambient LED lighting also coming with all trim levels. However, when it comes to that ambient lighting, I will say the multicolor options only come with the premium plus trim level and up. And of course they can be adjusted using the tech display, which I'm about to touch on in a little bit here. But again, if you want color choices, go with the premium plus trim level and up there. You will find natural wood inlays for all trim levels. And of course that can be adjusted depending upon different packages that you go with. Leather dash with contrast stitching is going to come with the Prestige. Aluminum optic control buttons as well with that Prestige trim level. You will find a wireless phone charger with the convenience package for the premium or the premium plus trim level and up. And overall, it's finished pretty much as you would expect an Audi to be finished. There's a ton of piano black finishes, including just above the glove box. I like the quattro lettering right there too. And that piano black finish really ties well together with the tech display, because that's of course finished in piano black as well. So that definitely looks good. Just behind all those tech displays, there are two cup holders with a 12 volt power outlet and actually a little key holder as well, which I absolutely love. That's where I've kept the key so it doesn't slide around. So that's pretty darn cool. Just behind that, you got a little bit of rubberized storage wireless phone charger can be found within that center armrest in case anybody is curious and actually when it comes to that center armrest you do have the ability to slide it forward if you wanted more of a comfortable armrest to hold on to the shifter perhaps or you can slide it back so i do love that the armrest goes forward and back and kind of up a little bit when you move it forward so that is pretty cool and i thought it was worth mentioning there too and so but now let's go ahead and make our way to the tech display on the q8 
dual screens let me start by mentioning that the upper screen is 10.1 inches lower screen is 8.6 inches bluetooth and audio streaming comes standard wireless android auto apple carplay again i've said this in my previous videos that's a feature that you're going to see more and more often it's one of those new things that's starting to pop up everywhere now wireless android auto because of course previously you had to hook your phone up via usb cable to whatever vehicle you were driving so absolutely love that factory navigation system comes on all trim levels of course check out your climate control settings up there ambient lighting settings drive modes and your radio information and by the way when it comes to the sound systems on the q8 you will find 10 speakers with 180 watts coming with the premium premium plus trim level however is going to give you a 17 speaker bang and olfson sound system with a 16 channel digital amplifier 730 watts so of course that is the one we have today so what do you guys say let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one all right so i'm giving the award to most bass in any vehicle i've driven all year to the Q8. That was a ridiculous amount of bass. I can't emphasize that. It felt like five different subwoofers on the Q8. That was that was absolutely wonderful if I'm being quite honest. Still, clarity was plenty good, but that bass again, perhaps the most bass of any vehicle I've ever reviewed. Bowers and Wilkins still my favorite. I always have to say it because of the clarity, but dang, that was absolutely ridiculous bass love that but so anyways last thing i wanted to mention on that tech display is when you do put the q8 in reverse you of course will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board premium plus trim level is going to add a 360 degree monitor which is always is going to let you know who or what is behind you which is going to lead us into safety so let me first start by mentioning the most important thing iihs top safety pick award going to the audi q8 so that pretty much says it all right there but front side side curtain airbags come standard in the back you're going to have latch aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats tire pressure monitoring system coming standard driver assistance package standard for the prestige and also a 750 dollars option for the premium and premium plus trim levels if you wanted to go that route but essentially that is going to add adaptive cruise control with traffic jam assist lane keep assist intersection assist and traffic Traffic sign recognition there are actually rear side airbags which is a feature you don't always find that's available for $350 if you wanted that and when it comes to that blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert that is going to come with the premium plus trim leveling up and so overall when it comes to my final thoughts this is one of the best looking SUVs out there in my personal opinion partly due because of the coupe like design and the frameless windows definitely a very good looking SUV Audi virtual cockpit you cannot get any better than that right now even when manufacturers are upping their digital gauges I think there's only one digital gauge display that is better than this and it's not even available in the US right now it's in Korea but this is absolutely an amazing digital gauge cluster I think just because of the 3d navigation that's available with it Quattro all-wheel drive system is legendary absolutely love that maybe one of the constructive criticisms I would say though the driver assistance package that I mentioned to you guys that should come standard on the Q8 especially at this price point instead of just for the prestige but also the other thing is with the visibility in the space of course the Q7 is going to be a little more practical than the Q8 would be so I did want to mention that as well but in the end let me know what you guys think of the new 2020 Audi Q8 in the comments section below that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much much for watching feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there if you like be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews that is what we do here on this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold